A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the biggest issues that beginners have with WordPress. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a potential fix. So stick around and see that. But first, a bit of context. So over the past 10 years, I've trained over 5,000 people on WordPress and I've trained face to face. So this is groups of people, 10 to 20 people in a room. And I've taken them from the start of the day where they don't really know much about WordPress or they may have a site and they haven't really used it. And at the end of the day, they can fully manage it or they can build their own website. And as part of that day, we talk about customizing the design of your website. Now in WordPress, there are two types of themes. There are classic themes and block themes. And for most of those 10 years, I've been teaching beginners how to use classic themes. And I can literally give a group of beginners a classic theme. And within 10 minutes, they are customizing the design of the website because they're just using the customizer. So they're just clicking around stuff. So they can do things like change the fonts, change the layout of the single post page, add a sidebar to the pages if they want to. They can change the color of the website. It's really easy to add, add a logo. It's really easy to change the design of the header layout. But conversely, if I have to teach a group of beginners how to use a block theme, it's a much, much more arduous task. I've literally built a separate course on how to do that, and it's a two and a half hour course. So the comparison to using a classic theme and a block theme is huge. So let's dive into some examples. Over on the left here, you can see I've got a classic theme, and over on the right, I'm running a block theme. So first thing I want to try is add a sidebar to my pages. So in a classic theme, all I do is go to Appearance and Customize. That'll open up the customize here with all the options. I'm actually using the Bloxy theme, which is a classic theme. If I wanna add a sidebar to my pages, all I do is come down here to pages, click on pages, and you get these nice little icons here. So if I wanna add a right sidebar, I can just add that. Let me just make it a bit smaller so you can actually see it. it's squishing on mobile. There you go. There's my sidebar, let's do that again. There's my sidebar, if I want it on the left, just click on the left, simple as that. If I wanna do the same thing on a block theme, let's have a look. So I'd go to appearance and then editor. So now in the site editor, so I would probably get a bit confused here. I'd probably go to pages, all pages. Here's my pages listed, uh, but I want to edit the page. So I'm already, I'm already a bit confused. I know that I probably want to do this via template. So I go to templates and I probably want to come down in here, find my pages template, open that up. And now I've just got a bunch of blocks and now I have to try and add a sidebar and there's no easy option to do it. I might think about deleting all these blocks let's click on the list view and now into groups more groups featured images i mean i know how to add a sidebar because i love block themes because they give us a huge amount of power but can you imagine a beginner trying to do this um, they might click on this and go to patterns and then pages and then try and find a template here with a sidebar and delete their existing content but there's no simple way to do it with a classic theme it's really simple you've just got these little icons here literally you could give this to a beginner and they could understand this concept you know, within 10 minutes, which is what I do on my courses. I'll just show you one more quick example before I show you my solution. Uh, so we want to add some styling to the navigation, which is a really common thing that beginners want to do when they're starting to build their sites. So with a classic theme, all I would do is appearance, customize. Again, I'm back into something very familiar. It's all here in the customizer. And then I'm just going to look for uh, my header. But actually what they give you in classic themes is this nice little shortcut. Click on that click on design, and then I can just change the background color and you see it immediately. Let's try and do the same thing with a block theme. So I'm gonna to go to appearance and editor. And now I've got these options down here. So I'm gonna click on navigation because I think that's probably where it is, but you can see there's no design options here. So I'm gonna click on this up here. Uh, I still don't see any design options. So you can imagine what a beginner's going through at this point. I click into here, there's still no design options. So I can't see any way that I can uh, style the background. Now I know that I probably want to click on header and I can start to see some options in here, but now I've got these different layer options, but I still don't have any design options. So I'm not actually quite clear what I do. I think I would probably, what I'd do is click on header and then click on group. And then I know that I can come into styles and I can change the background color. But can you imagine that a beginner trying to do that? They're just going to get completely stuck. Now, I want to repeat that I'm a huge, huge fan of block themes because of the level of control and creativity they give us. So I don't want to put you off using them, but I do think it's a big issue for beginners. You can see they're going to get stuck. And my experience is they do get stuck. And the risk is they stop using WordPress, which we really, really want to avoid. So I've been thinking on this for a while of how we can bridge the gap between the classic themes and the block themes. And this is what I've come up with. 
So what you're looking at here is a really rough prototype that I put together. Imagine you're a beginner, you click on customize website and you have some really simple options in the customizer and you can just click on these. And in this case, we're adding a sidebar, but there's an extra option at the bottom that says custom template. When you click on that, it launches you into the site editor where you have full control because you're designing the template with blocks. So what this is doing is catering for beginners, but also for people that have more experience with the site editor. Now, block themes are getting better all the time, and there's some big improvements that have been made over the last two years. They're definitely easier, but in my heart of hearts, having trained 5,000 beginners, I'm really not sure a beginner is ever going to get to grips properly with understanding a block theme if they come to them afresh without having to do a lot of learning. And it should be easier than this, really, because there's lots of difficult concepts in block themes like, you know, templates and template parts, even things like rows, setting the navigation, the menu stuff is complex compared to a classic theme, which is really just click, click, click. So I think my solution is a good one. It's a, it's radical, but maybe the time is we need to start thinking radically about this stuff. But let me know what you think. If you think my solution is completely bonkers, let me know, drop a comment. If you like the idea, hit the like button as well. And also, if you like the video, if you can hit the like button, it'd be fantastic because it makes a huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really does. So thank you. And also, as you know, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. Again, let me know what you think by dropping a comment below or hitting the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.